Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Dotnet office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the chain or nested route in Angular 15. So in the previous video, where we have created this application and when we will run this application, what we have, we have a couple of the tabs and in the respective tab have their respective uh, details. Like for an example, if we go on the student and when we click on this view, we are going on their information and we can see all this information related to that respective student. But here you will see like what we are doing. This is the uh, root path and then we have the student component and then student details and the ID which student detail currently we are looking. So currently for this route, if you will see here, we are having this student, student detail and then ID. So in that way, we are looking this ID. Now we can achieve it using the child route. So to do or to perform this operation using the child route, what I will do first. So here first what you will see here, like when we are going from this student to the student detail. So here you can see we are giving this full path. Like this is the, uh, this should be our, uh, the root path and then student details and then ID. So here this student, it's basically this. So this is the root path and when it finds this student, so the root path is this and it is going to the student component. Then student details, it go on the student detail with the ID. So this is the way it is happening. Now let's, what I will do here, let's comment it. And now what, uh, let's write here path. And with this path here, what if I will write student. So that is the like um, root path currently it is taking. And now after this one, let's take as in children. And so to define the children, what first what we have to use, we have to use the children keyword. And here then we have to give the path. So here to give the path is basically, first we have to use the curly braces, then path. And in this, we have to give the path name, just like we are having up. So student will be the parent and uh, this one, the, the child path will be the student details with the ID. So we can copy it and we can paste it here. So this is the, will be the child. And for this one component will be the student details component. So this is the way. Now here you will see like currently let's put the comma first. Let's save this again. So here basically now for the student detail, the parent is the student. Now the parent of the student is basically will be the student component. And for this one, the parent is the root path. You will say here. So now when you will save this and go on the browser, it should work as expected before. So if you will go on the student and will click on the view, you can see the path in the same way. So student details is basically a child of the student. And when we come on the student details, basically we are passing one ID and with that ID, it will come on the student detail. So this is the way the child route works. And even if we want to pass multiple child, we can pass it just like the comma separator. And here, here currently we are going with the ID. Even we can go with the name also if we want. So this is the way also uh, like uh, we can so basically we can create multiple child if we want so uh, like since we can uh, put the multiple children so that's why we call it as a nested route as well now there is another thing now for an example here we are giving the absolute path so like currently we are having this slash it is indicate to the absolute path it means it will consider it as in like so currently it is an student and then slash basically absolute path means from the root it will be the same path as well what if i will remove it from here now if i will save this and go on the browser so let's go on the uh, student and if i if i will click on this view you will see it is not able to find it and you will see the url like what it is expecting here it is expecting like so this uh, this is the root path and it is not able to find it the student details and this the slash one here basically this it is expecting the root path as in a student it is not uh, like and the student is not able to find it 
so that's why it is giving this error so to work this route what changes we can do so currently here you will see this student detail is basically looking for the parent called student and currently we are not having in the path here so to work this one what we can do here we can remove it and we can make it as an empty and here empty is basically is indicating to the home component and the basically home component is the like the uh, this uh, root url so now at point of this time we are on the student if i will click on this view you can see the url it is from the root path and then we can see the respective information here so this is the way basically the route child or the nested uh, child works in the angular so basically it look for that path and based on that it proceed further so this is the way we can achieve the child route or the nested route in the angular so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you